Hey, what's happening? What's going on, everybody? My name is Matt, in case you don't know who I am. Welcome to this YouTube channel where we talk about day trading futures. In today's video, I'm going to be showing you a step-by-step -step process that I use to create the workstation that you see on my stream every morning. In case you didn't know, you can actually subscribe to this channel, click that bell notification because I do live stream my futures day trading sessions every single morning, Monday through Friday, starting at 8.20 central. So I look forward to chatting with you there. Now, I am going to be using Tradeavate. So if you don't have a Tradeavate account or you don't have Top Step using TS Trader, you can click the first link down below if you wanna check out Top Step. It's a way to get funded as a trader so that you don't have to trade your own money. You can actually trade their money, take on their risk. Uh, if you do opt into that version, it's called TS Trader will be what we're using. If you just go with normal Tradeavate, it is just the normal Tradeavate platform. So let's go ahead and get into it. All right, so first off, what you're, wanting, what you're going to want to do is click in the top right corner of your settings up here. It's three little bars. You'll click that, and then you're gonna go down to application. Now, if you're in TS Trader, you're not gonna see all these different options. Um, this is my Tradeavate account, but if you are on TS Trader, you're still gonna see application as an option. So once you go to your application, uh, you can set up, I have my theme as dark, Again, very, very basic, uh, but we're going step by step. So I have my theme is dark. I always have my privacy mode enabled just in case. Next thing you're gonna wanna do is go to add on tools. Now, the two options that you're going to want to select are advanced charting and free indicators. In order to add these, you're gonna go to activate more add-ons, click that, and then you'll go down to free indicators and advanced trading, and all you do is you click activate. You do have other things in here that you can play around with, um, but for the what we're caring for right now, we want free indicators and advanced charting. What this allows is uh, different candle styles and then free indicators gives us volume profile, which is super important for us, right? So that is the first step. Now, you can go in here. Since I'm going to be building this from the ground up, uh, we can actually just go ahead and cancel out of everything. I'll close everything here. Actually, first off, one pro tip uh, that you might not know yet, if you go to add modules up here in the corner, uh, if you create a template, which is what I have here for my workstation, you can actually download it um, so that you can basically have a backup copy. If something ever happens to your cloud uh, and your workstation gets deleted for some reason, you can store a downloaded version of this so that you can just next time just upload it. Uh, and to do that, you just import it from file, right? So I went ahead and did that just in case. And now we can go ahead and exit out of all of these different workstations and we can build it from the ground up. So first things first, I'm gonna to go to add modules. I'm gonna grab performance center here and I'm just going to drag it on. This is how I see and track my PL on the day. Uh, this is what I'm always showing on stream, how you see commissions and the different graphs on your winning percentage, et cetera. So performance center, just gonna leave it as is the way that is. Next, I'm going to grab the DOM or dome, however you wanna, whatever you wanna call it, right? So right here, I'm just gonna drag that and drop it right here. Next thing I'm gonna do is go back in and I'm going to add a chart. And what I'm gonna do is drag it right here. I'm just gonna drag this down like that. Drag it all the way down. Drag this over in the corner. So now it's starting to look a little more like normal, right? And all I'm doing is just dragging and dropping. Next, I'm gonna just add one more chart in here just so that we have our NASDAQ section and our ES section and then the DOMs for both and then our performance center down here at the bottom. So this is the basic block of what we're doing, right? So in order to add stuff into here, all you do is you just search for the symbol. So for me, I'm looking for the NQ, right? NQZ is the current contract, so I just select that. It's gonna pull up my chart. I'll go ahead and get rid of all of this stuff. Actually, I'll leave it on for just a second. And then we care about the ES here, right? And then we'll do the same thing over here. Uh, NQZ, select, new tab for ES. Select, so now I can go back and forth between the two. For our DOM settings, I go to, you just click this little settings cog up in the top right corner. I, w I realize my face is in the way. We go settings in the top right corner 
and I have show bid ask histogram selected. I also want to show estimated PL selected. Histogram value is also selected, so I just click save and that will apply for both. That's it for the DOM settings. Now, we do have a lot of NASDAQ charts that we look at. So I do have the five minute here. I also want to see the daily. Um, so in order to do that, I just change this time period to daily. And everything I'm showing you here will be the same on the ES. I'm not gonna go through the ES, but it's the exact same thing. I'm gonna go ahead and add the NASDAQ again. This time I'm going to be looking at, again, time period, and I'm going to go to range, and I'm just gonna change this to a 22. I get asked all the time, why a 22 range? It's because that's from my back testing, my historical back testing since the start of 20, 2000, uh, the start of this decade or century, I guess, at this point. Uh, it's been the most consistent based off volatility that I've found uh, that works with my strategy. That number can be whatever you want. This is just a starting, a starting point for you, right? So 22, click save. It's now opening up a 22 range chart. And then we can go ahead and add a uh, one minute as well. Okay. So we have our one minute, our 22 range. This is the heavy hitter and then the NASDAQ five minute as well. Let's go ahead and take off all of this. So it looks just as bare as possible. This is our five minute chart. First thing that we're going to want to do is add cumulative delta. If you haven't watched the strategy video, uh, you can watch the strategy video on how I use all, all of this information uh, in a real time manner. But again, this video is just about setting it up. So what we're gonna do is go to indicators, volume based, cumulative delta, save. There it is, it's added in there, right? I tend to drag mine down a little bit just so it looks nice uh, in comparison to chart size. Next thing I'm gonna wanna do is click the grid little square button here, select that, and I'm gonna select histogram. That's gonna show you the volume over here on the right side. This is from five o'clock central, so the open through the close of the next day. I'm also going to show you in just a second how to change the colors on this. Um, at the time of this filming, it is not possible to change this inherently. Uh, they are working on an update to do that, but I'm gonna show you a workaround on how to change these colors. Next thing you're gonna to wanna to do is add VWAP. So, Again, go to your indicators, volume-based VWAP. I like mine to be blue. So I just leave the color there and click save. The next one I'm gonna do is add my camera. So in order to get camera, the Kaufman Adaptive Moving Average, you're gonna go to Explore Community Indicators down here at the bottom, click that, type in K-A-M-A, and just click Install on the P2F Kaufman Adaptive Moving Average. Once you click install, it will appear here under paid to fade, Kaufman adaptive moving average. I'm gonna leave these standard and change the color to purple. Great, everything's starting to look good and come together now. Next thing I'm gonna to wanna to do is go to indicators, free indicators. This is what we enabled earlier. Free indicators, volume profile. This is my standard. Actually, this is not my standard, so this is good. Uh, what I'm looking for here is the daily. So I care about the regular trading hours during my volume profile. I like my point of control to be yellow and it's enabled, that's good. I like my upper value area to be green. I like my lower value area to be red. And we wanna enable that as well. I, I take off the volume labels there and then I think all of that should be good here. take off my one more thing, right? I want to not show any value area colors there. And I also don't care about the profile colors. All right, so that gives us our three lines that we always see on stream as well. Point of control, value area high, value area low. And this will automatically start it every morning at market open and close it out every day at market close. This is not measuring the overnight sessions, but it will show you a historical pool of where volume profiles are located. Next thing I'm gonna do is add the volume profile for over here so that I can see this a little better since it's a little hard to see. In order to do that, again, I just go to indicator, free indicators, volume profile, and I'm going to change this to the daily, 6 p.m. to 5 p.m. Eastern, because that's the exact same thing that our histogram is measuring right now. I'm gonna go ahead and take off the lines, change my volume profile color to a nice white area, and click save. 
And there you go. Now you can see the histogram a little better over here on the right side. So that's it for our initial five minute chart. Let's go ahead and look at the 22 range. So on the 22 range, I'm looking for something very similar. Uh, again, I wanna see cumulative delta, so I just leave cumulative delta on there or add it in the exact same way we just did. Uh, I wanna see VWAP and I, I wanna see um, a little different version of VWAP. So what we're gonna do is we're going to take off our CAMA, our Kaufman Adaptive Moving Average. We're gonna take off the volume profile. We're gonna leave our volume profile histogram and we're going to take off VWAP. We're gonna leave our cumulative delta. Now, in order to get our VWAP bands that we use pretty religiously on stream, go to indicators, sport community indicators, type in VWAP bands and it's the NOM VWAP bands. Same thing, you're gonna click install. Once you click install, it will appear under your indicators under NOM tools. So just click that, VWAP bands, and now we have our VWAP bands. I used a daily time frame. I wanna see the first and second standard deviations as well. I like to change my VWAP. Uh, I think I typically change my VWAP, but we'll just leave it like this for the time being, um, just to be consistent. We have yellow, purple, and blue, so plus one, plus two. Actually, now that I think about it, this looks perfect. We don't normally change it. And then I wanna add in a one and a half and a three as well. So how do I do that? Go back to indicators and add one more version of this chart in here. All I'm gonna do is change these to three and to 1.5. And I'm gonna change the colors so that it doesn't look confusing. So on the three, I'm gonna change it to red. And on the 1.5, I'm gonna change it to orange. Additionally, on the 1.5, since it's kind of can get cluttered, I'm actually going to change this value to 20%. And then I'm gonna change this to a dotted line. So when I click save, you're gonna see it pop up and you can see how the one and a half is not as uh, aggressive in your face uh, as the other colored lines. And this is just to show like the big important three, two, one, and then the one and a half is just kind of there. So you can play around with how you visually like it. This again is just how I visually prefer to see it. So this is a 22 range with VWAP bands and Kilo Delta all laid out for you. The one minute chart is going to be the exact same as the five minute on the ES. The five minute is going to be the exact same as the NASDAQ five minute. So you can set it up exactly the same on the range chart. I use a six range on the ES. I'm still playing around with it to decide what I like best, but I use a six range and then I set it up exactly the same over here as the NASDAQ 22 range bands chart. So that is how I set up my workstation for trade of eight. Uh, if you're interested in trade of eight, uh, just go to their website. You can see how to spell it over down here in the bottom right corner. Or you can do it through Top Step. Setting this up through Top Step is going to be the exact same as you just witnessed. Um, you're just going to be using TS Trader instead. Top Step Trader, it's their preferred application. It's going to look visually exactly the same. Uh, so again, if you are interested in earning a funded account and being able to trade with someone else's money so that you don't have to risk your own, first link down below in the description. So I hope this video helped you. If it did, make sure you press that thumbs up button down below. Make sure you press that subscribe button down below and I will see you on stream every single morning, Monday through Friday at 8.20 Central. Have a great rest of your day. Peace.